Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me okay? All the way in the back? All right. Uh, my name is Bridget Reagan. I'm the commercial technical sales representative with Solar Liberty. Um, with me here is Ram. He's our electrical engineer, he forgot to mention. Um, we are very honored to be asked to participate in tonight's event. It's really great to see so many advocates coming out from the community and surrounding businesses that are interested in learning uh, more about what Bill spoke to. That's a very difficult presentation to follow. Your information is so dead on and it's so important that everyone understands. Um, and so what I'm going to kind of talk about is uh, not how solar works and how we mount them on a, on a roof like we not normally would. I'm going to introduce Solar Liberty and show you all the uh, things we've accomplished in, in the last almost 10 years of, of incorporation. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about some of the um, challenges I see as a sales rep um, out on the, on the streets, basically, and also a lot of the opportunities. Although the fee and tariff would be a tremendous uh, splash in the market, there are still things right now uh, that have made us um, very successful over the last 10 years and hope to keep that incline uh, steady for the next 10 more and, and so on. So. Um, solar Liberty is a turnkey solar energy installer. Uh, what that means is we actually do everything in-house from design uh, and the concept of a project to the completion and installation. We work directly with manufacturers, have our own in-house in -house design engineers, um, and then complete the installation as well. Um, and we've been doing this for about 10 years. Uh, Adam and Nathan are brothers. Uh, I like to say that they were two guys in a PO box uh, just about 10 years ago with a dream. Adam was an environmental lawyer. Um, at UB and his brother Nathan was a social worker and so their passions are really what are the building blocks of our company. Um, solar energy is all we do. Uh, we don't also do thermal or, or wind um, so we're hundred percent focused on, on solar energy. Um, so we're a local company um, very quickly became a name in the solar industry. Uh, in 2008 we were named as the fifth fastest growing company in the energy sector um, on Inc. Magazine's uh, list, so that was a, a pretty good staple. In 2008 is really kind of when solar started to make a splash and get noticeable. It's not new technology, but it was kind of newly implemented. So uh, very quickly after that, their sister Paige uh, head, heads up our Solar Liberty Foundation. You might have seen it on Christmas Day. It was front page news uh, that we had donated and designed a battery solar system that we installed in Haiti. Um, and the other day was a 30 year anniversary for the earthquake that, that shook the country uh, of, of um, Haiti. And so it was a really important story that got a lot of attention. Um, and their dream is always to be in the nonprofit sector of, of donations in third world, world countries, but you can't have a not for profit without a for profit. And so that's where the business side comes into play. Um, and since 2003, we've been named as the fastest growing company on Inc. Magazine, but also recognized by uh, the Department of Energy and NYSERDA a few years running as the largest installer. Uh, the UB project, I'll have a really nice shot of that later on. If you haven't had a chance to go check it out, um, I urge you to go walk through it. It's pretty uh, substantial and phenomenal. So, um, and currently, uh, we have about 700 installations across the state of New York. It's about 14 megawatts of solar power. And so, when I was asked to do this presentation and I was told to think about some uh, obstacles and things like that, uh, we've been pretty lucky to have things like NYSERDA and things like the Sierra Club, people that are advocates that are just talking about it in the community and other green um, clubs of that nature. But it came down to almost perceptions and misconceptions. It's really the end user that's not educated enough. And so here's the things that we typically hear. And the home show's coming up and I guarantee I'm gonna hear this 85% of my day. Solar doesn't work in New York. We all know that's not true. Uh, it's too expensive. They don't know that there's grants available, tax credits. Uh, solar is at its lowest point it's ever been um, and is extremely affordable with, with paybacks in just a few years. Um, and, and I like this one a lot. The technology is going to be so much better in the very near future. And they're kind of re referring to the iPad, iPad 2, and it's just not the case. Uh, and so these are direct results from lack of awareness, uh, knowledge, education, um, and really just not enough positive exposure uh, to the public until, hopefully, last week. Uh, if you saw the State of the State address, Governor Cuomo has extended our Solar New York uh, Sun program for an additional 10 years. It was due to expire in 2015, which is only two short years away from now. Um, and so what he's done is he's extended the program another 10 years. And while we wait for the feed and tariffs and the things that we think are really going to make a staple, we at least have an extension for what we've been relying on for the last few years. 
So it's about $150 million each year for the next 10 years, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, and, and the program's goal is to install twice as many installations uh, with solar capacity um, in 2012 as we did in 2011, which we actually, as, as a country, uh, really kind of hit that number. And then to quadruple the 2011 and 2013, and I'm excited for my 2013 this year. <laughs> Uh, it's really going to allow us to get robust size systems installed in New York State. We've had a we've had an incentive program that caps us at 50 kilowatts. Um, I don't know if any of you are aware. We actually put a 50 kilowatt system on the front building here at Damon, and that's the most we can actually install because of where the, the incentives stop. Well, what we're hoping is that this new 150 million dollar year for 10 years is going to allow us to break over that cap and really get a good staple installation uh, in in multiples like the UB project. Um, it's going to create a ton of jobs, um, and it's also going to improve the reliability of the grid just by alleviating some of the congestion. It's not going to fix it, but it'll certainly help, uh, especially down in the New York City area where there's a ton of congestion, um, and obviously the, the air pollution. Um, and I was listening to NPR the other day on the way to work, and they were kind of talking about the whole the, the Hurricane Sandy is really kind of what gave them that nudge to be like, all right, we got to get a handle on this. This is getting out of control. And so now is the time, and I'm, I'm glad that it was addressed last week, and we're excited to see uh, New York State go from number 11 to hopefully number one. That'd be, that'd be pretty great. So some of the stats you may or may not be aware, 2008, I kind of mentioned, uh, it's really sort of when solar started to make its tracks in, this, in uh, the states. Uh, since 2008 to now, it's about a 500% increase um, in market. And so 600, I'm sorry, 6,400 megawatts is about 1 million residential homes, uh, enough to power those homes. Um, obviously nowhere near where we need to be, but, but, but this looks pretty positive right there. Uh, it's 119,000 jobs over the, over the United States. Again, nowhere near where it needs to be, but it's a lot more than people are aware of. Uh, solar and wind and geothermal, they really do create jobs. Um, Let's see, in, in New York alone, there's 320 solar companies, and they're all expected to not, I think this stat is a little old, they're all expected to, to grow capacity and job creation. And when I say job creation, I don't just mean that someone manufactured a panel, I sold it, and this guy over here installed it. What I mean is, we call it the ripple effect. Someone had to design, our, my an electrical engineer here, Ram, he designs all of our electrical systems. I mean, he's, he's slammed. We had to hire two more people just to support what, what's coming in, and that's real job growth. Um, marketing and advertising, accounting and financing. You think about uh, right here is a new um, warehouse we just opened up in Lockport because we needed more capacity. There's someone that has to run that plant. We manufacture this racking system right here in Buffalo. Someone had to package it and drive it to the warehouse. So you see where I'm going. It's, it's ever, uh, ever folding out uh, to, to the masses of, of job employment all the way down to our city employees, where we need permitting and electrical inspections. So our future is very bright, and, and not only Sol Solar Liberty, but I know CIR is here, and, and there's many installers in the state of New York, and we are all very thankful to have the support of NYSERDA. Their continued support has been pretty tremendous. The uh, support of the governor is, is tremendous as well. Um, we are very lucky to have organizations like Greenworks Buffalo Niagara and Sierra Club and so many others. NYSEA obviously is a major staple in the state, um, and, and the, the dedication on a, on a personal note from all of the participants is, is, is pretty lucky for, for um, businesses like ours. Uh, social networks, things like Facebook. If any one person likes a photo, all their friends see it too. It's incredible. It's a big spider web of just you know getting out to the masses. And, and the more people that are intrigued, they're gonna find out more and learn more and spread the word themselves. Uh, customer referrals, we always absolutely appreciate. Um, and the growing awareness through education. We've done a lot of K through eight schools. We've done a lot of uh, universities. They're implementing, um, like Brenda was here a little while ago, implementing the education into uh, curriculum. And that's just so important, not only to understand how it works and understand how to uh, gain control of the climate ever changing, but to maybe spark an interest and design a new product and, and go sell that product or market the product. So. Uh, the education is, is extremely important, and, and our future is bright uh, thanks to the, the newly implementation of that. Solar Liberty's tagline is uh, the future of energy independence, and, and that's what we try to do. Uh, solar Liberty is dedicated to making solar energy accessible and affordable 
for every business, nonprofit, municipality, educational institute, residential homes. And it's, it's just a, a responsibility that we feel uh, and, and always have had uh, from our nonprofit foundation. We've had aggressive lease programs where there's no cost to do it because we know the importance of having it. Um, and so Solar Liberty is very dedicated to continuing uh, supporting our, our state. Solar, uh, the solar strand, uh, raise your hands. Has anyone gone by to see, see this? Oh, good amount, great. So these are some uh, professional shots we got. Um, it just kind of shows you the magnitude. We got a really great shot of some kids uh, kind of standing right here. And, and one of the children happened to be pointing his hand up uh, to this guy. I used it a little earlier. Um, and so we're thinking, wow, that just that picture tells so much. We do this for them. Um, and Bill's picture earlier on with his sons in the picture, was, it's, it speaks volumes. Um, like I mentioned, we have about uh, 14 megawatts in the state of New York, nowhere near where we need to be. We continue to push forward and try to come up with aggressive programs to make solar affordable and feasible. And the governor's uh, dedication will just make it that much better. And this is our fleet of vehicles, Ram, <laughs> my personal photographer. Uh, and so that's, that's kind of it. I, I, I stayed away from how it works and how we mount it. That's kind of the standard behind the scenes. If anyone's interested in getting more information about, uh, you know, we do free evaluations. It doesn't take much but an electric bill. Um, if you have any questions of, of anything at all pertaining to solar energy, um, I'll have some cards on me um, afterwards and feel free to come up and talk to me. Okay.